Hi, I am Judith Imagoro, and here is three quick things I want to talk to you about today. Welcome to Enjoy Marita Blaze. I want to talk to you on how you can regain back respect in your relationship. And first, I want you to know if you are in a relationship where it appears as though you're begging for everything before you can get it. You're begging for love. You're seeking attention. You're begging for recognition. And it seems that you, you're just, you're in that position of always begging for things before you receive it. I want you to know that you took yourself there. You're in that corner because you took yourself to that corner. So you have to find a way to get out of that corner and be in a position of honor. And the first thing you need to do is to get a life outside of that relationship. You heard me right. I'm not saying quit the relationship, but get a life outside of the relationship. You have to find another interest, something else that you will, that you're passionate about, something else to invest your time, emotions on, something that will build you and put value in you. And as you're pursuing that, you will create scarcity. Humans just love, they, every human being invests or love or appreciate the things that are scarce, things that they don't find cheaply. That's one of the ways that you're going to gain your respect back. Get a life outside of that relationship. It is not healthy that because you have a relationship, you can no longer concentrate in your place of work. When you call him or you call her, they've not returned your call they, or you've not had access to them. You are, you're miserable. You're not focused. You're not, you're not putting in your best in whatever you're doing because of one human being. That's not how to love. That's being stupid. You need to look for a way to invest your mind, invest your emotion, invest in yourself. And I tell you, that will add value to your relationship. People love to, to date or to marry someone who, who is engaged. Not people, not anyone that their life, their life depends on them. So you have to find a way to, to, to get a life outside of that relationship. Number two, you have to learn to say no. You have to learn self-control. What do I mean? If you, I, if you call someone for more than twice, any person at all, you call them once and twice, and let's say at most three times, even three times for me is too much. You call somebody once and you call them twice and they have not returned your call or they've not picked your call and you keep calling them, is self-disrespect. You have to learn to wait. The ability to tell yourself no. Yes, you feel like calling them again, but you control yourself and say, no, let me wait. What happens if they don't call you back the whole day? Then don't call them. That's the self-control we're talking about. Learning to say no. Learning to say, I'm not going to do this. Learning to take your mind off them. That is how you will regain your value. The other person begins to take note. They, trust me, they notice. If you were calling five, 10 times, 15 times a day, and you're not called twice, if they don't return your call and you've not, re you've not called back, they will notice. And they begin to like, in their mind, am I losing him? Am I losing her? And you'll find out that they start calling you. They start paying more attention because people don't want to lose things that they love. Now, if they are comfortable losing you, if you've not, if you if you call them and they didn't return call for four days, what does that say to you? They can live without you. That's painful, but own it, and respect yourself enough to walk out of the relationship. Respect yourself enough not to be calling them as though your life depends on them. Your life does not depend on any human being. You may just be in this journey, maybe where you have journeyed to in life, is that person you found. But trust me, if you journey more, you will find someone else that will value you, that will love you. Always remember that. Your life does not depend on any person. Don't 
make anyone feels your life depends on them. Number three, find a source of validation. This is very important. Find a source of validation. I have noticed that because we are human, we are created to be interdependent. So every human being kind of love to be affirmed, love to be validated. It's just our nature as human being. But you cannot depend on human validation all the time. And this is where this is interesting. The word of God is the greatest validation you can ever find on the planet Earth. It was what you were created to live on. It's supposed to validate you. It's supposed to tell you who you are. It's supposed to give you confidence, joy, feed you spiritually. And I tell you personally, that is where I get my validation. And because I'm always thinking of the word, meditating on it, spending time to pray and to and know who I am, I am bringing value to my relationship instead of putting pressure in my relationship. Anytime you're depending on someone else to validate you all the time, what you'll be doing is that you're putting pressure in that relationship. And everyone on earth are looking for people who will add to them, who will encourage them, who will be a source of hope. The more you are a source of hope, a source of validation, a source of blessing, the more people want to hang around you. So find a source of validation outside of your relationship. And if you are, I want to encourage you, the greatest place, the, the, the source to find it that don't run out, that is true, that is empowering, is in the word of God. And that way you will bring beauty into your relationship instead of letting it to wear out because you are finding validation all the time. Valid, you know, finding validation in another person is one of the ways that you tell them you're not confident in yourself. It's one of the ways you show weakness without you knowing. So find validation outside of the relationship and you find out that the other person will start coming along because they know that you can live without them and yet you choose to live with them thank you so much for watching i want to encourage you please subscribe to my youtube channel at judith Magro ministries i'm on facebook instagram at judith Magro ministries and thank you for watching this broadcast i want to encourage you please please help me share this message to people around you it will be a blessing and i'll see you again Bye.